is Rachel with Tovatech. Understanding how refrigeration works will help you understand which type of lab refrigerator or freezer to buy, how to maintain it, and where to set it up to get the best performance. It will also help you understand our next videos about topics like automatic defrost. And if the subject ever comes up outside of work, you'll be able to amaze your friends and family with your new knowledge. The first thing you need to know is that when a liquid evaporates, it absorbs heat, and when a gas condenses back to a liquid, it releases heat. You got that? Good. Let's start with the receiver where the liquid refrigerant is stored under high pressure. The liquid passes through a thermal expansion valve where its pressure is suddenly reduced. When the pressure is reduced, some of the liquid evaporates and this causes the remaining liquid to cool. The cold refrigerant passes through the evaporator coil, absorbing heat from the space inside the refrigerator. The liquid refrigerant completely evaporates inside the evaporator and becomes a low pressure gas. This gas enters the electrically powered compressor where, yep, you guessed it, it's compressed into a high pressure gas. It's driven out of the compressor into the condenser, which is usually on the back of your refrigerator, where it's cooled by a fan and condenses back into a liquid and goes back to the receiver, and the cycle is repeated over and over again. The condenser dissipates heat, and the most common type has a fin and tube design with a motor-driven fan. The fan forces a lot of air through the tube and fin assembly and drives the heat away from the condenser coils. It's important to understand where that warm air is blowing out of your unit when you're figuring out where to set it up. While the refrigerator or freezer is running, frost accumulates on the evaporator coils. And if it weren't removed, the ice buildup would eventually stop the heat transfer and the system would stop working. When we talk about manual defrost and auto defrost in the next video, we'll be talking about different ways to remove the frost from the evaporator. Now that you know how refrigeration works, you're ready to learn about different types of models. You can visit our learning center or just give us a call. We're happy to help you make the right selection for your lab or your clinic.